Hello everybody, welcome to Amazon, to OrCam's Amazon Live, meeting the Smart Magnifier. We're gonna give a couple minutes, or seconds rather, just for some people to join. We're really excited to have you all here today. Um, let's just see who's coming on. Okay, we're gonna give another few seconds and then we're gonna get started. Okay. All right, so we're just gonna get into it. I see we have some people here, so we're just gonna get started. Um, basically, today we're gonna talk about OrCam Smart Magnifier. The Smart Magnifier comes with two of our products. It comes with the OrCam My Eye 3 package, and it comes with the OrCam Read 3. The Smart Magnifier essentially is well beyond any standard magnifier on the market. Most magnifiers that you have today on the market, either they're very large and clunky, and you can't really carry them around with you, um, or they just don't have very many advanced features. Um, our magnifier doesn't just magnify, it doesn't just allow you to zoom in. It can, you can change contrast, you can customize it to um, any of your preferences. Um, you can read handwriting. You can change the, t the text into digital text so that you can download it and have it in a printed format as well. You also have, more specifically, and one of the most incredible parts of our smart magnifier is that it comes with a built-in interactive AI assistant, which essentially allows you to ask any question about the specific text and beyond that. It doesn't just limit it to the text. So for example, we're gonna see through a few demonstrations, if I have a, a, I decide to take a picture of a book with my OrCam Read 3, um, and it's Alice in Wonderland, and I wanna know about the author, um, it'll tell me about the author. It'll tell me when the author was born, if I wanna know that. Um, so it, it can give you some access to information in a way you never had before. You're able to interact with the text in a, na in a natural way, in conversational language. Um, that's that just takes reading and just accessing text particularly when you have reading difficulties or vision have vision impairments and just in a whole new level and that's something we 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 don't realize until we have this accessibility how we've missed it or how we need it so much so we're going to get right, right down to brass tacks and we're going to go into the smart magnifier so i'm going to quickly get into my computer sorry about that Okay, so here is the interface of the magnifier. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is essentially when you log in, this is what it's gonna look like. There's two ways, there's what you're gonna need to do in order to get into your smart magnifier is if you have the OrCam Read 3, um, or if you have the OrCam My i3, you're gonna have a USB cable that comes with it and you attach it to your computer. So that way you can take pictures of books. You also have the stand to put it in so you can slide it into your, 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 your device, into your stand, place a book underneath in the stand, and take the picture. So it's, it's, it's super comfortable, it's really hands-free, and you can manage what you'd like to on, on your computer. And any computer screen that you have, you can use this with, okay? Um, so you can also do also, what we're gonna demo today is you can actually upload files as well once you're logged in. So if you have a, let's say someone sends you an email, or you have a bill that comes in your email, you can just upload it here and manage it through that. So that's what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna start, we're gonna upload an invoice. And immediately what's gonna happen is that we're gonna get a summary of the invoice. Just make sure you guys can all hear. It's loading. Here is an overview of the invoice from Pasek and Lage to Marceline Anderson for items purchased with a total amount due of 1680 US dollars. Payment method, Francisco Andrade Bank. Do you want more information about the specific items purchased in the invoice, such as the quantities and prices of each item? Yes, please tell me how many notebooks were purchased. I'm just gonna wait for the response. Two notebooks were purchased. Do you want me to expand on that? Yes, how much do they each cost? Each notebook costs $100. Is there anything else you would like to know? How much was the, sorry, I had to wait for the beep. How much was the tax on this order? The total tax on this order was $55. Is there anything else you would like to know? What are people's favorite books today? I'm not 
not sure. Is there anything else you would like to know? Um, let's pause it for a second. Let's think of something really great to ask. Um, let me ask it, because I bought, purchased in this order, there are some comic books that were purchased, three comic books. So I'm gonna ask, what, other com what are the popular comic books so that I can know for my next order if I would like to have more, more comic books? Name me two popular comic books. Spider-Man and Batman are two popular comic books. Is there anything else you would like to know? So I've just stopped it, but that's really cool because there's no Spider-Man, there's no Batman listed on this text. I just asked a question about comic books, even though it's totally unrelated to this text. And I can go beyond that. Um, so this was actually an invoice for a book order, as you understood. It had storybooks and magazines and comic books and novels, and it differentiated the different prices and it told me the total price. I can also ask when the, the bill is due. When it, when is the bill due? The bill is due on December 7th, 2021. Do you want me to expand on that? So it's 2021, so it's definitely very overdue. Um, but we're going to go on. I'm going to show you how this is, this is with a bill and how it can allow you to manage your finances or your bills that come in. Um, you get an electric bill. You no longer have to rely on someone else to figure out your electric bill. You can handle your electric bill. You can know how much you're paying. And you can have much more control and independence with your own finances and your own utilities. Um, I'm going to show another example, a restaurant example. So in order to do that, we're going to upload a new file. I'm going to cancel this session and I'm going to upload a new file. Here's a menu. It's always fun to go to restaurants. So if you happen to be ordering at takeout or you happen to have your smart magnifier with you, um, you can you have a computer with you and you're able to in a restaurant access all the text you want. Here is a brief summary of the menu. Selections include coffee, Americano, espresso, latte, juices, orange, green juice, berry mix, and desserts brownie, cheesecake, chocolate muffin, at varying prices. Do you wish to know more information about any specific item on the menu? Yes, please list me only the coffees. Just takes a minute to get all the coffees in order. Let's see, it's still loading. Menu, coffee. Americano, $16. A satisfying black coffee created by adding hot water to. A shot of espresso. Espresso, $11. A concentrated shot of rich and intense coffee, brewed. Under high pressure, delivering a bold and robust flavor. Latte. I'm going to stop it and I'm going to just show something really cool. So I want to ask it. I want to ask which coffees come with whipped cream because I really like whipped cream. So I'm going to ask it only list me the coffees that have whipped cream. Please tell me the coffees that come with whipped cream. Mocha is the coffee that comes with whipped cream. Everything else does not have whipped cream. So how cool is that? I just, I really just know what I want and I just want to get what I want and I want to know the information about it. I can ask its price. I can ask what else it comes with. Um, it's all accessible to me and I no longer have to rely on someone else to fill in the details and find, it's, it's me, I can do it on my own. And that's a really empowering thing to be able to take back control, with, which is a normal daily activity and really have it as your own. Um, so that's really, that's really cool about menus. Something else I wanna point out about the Smart Magnifier, and while I don't have a menu at the moment in a different language, if you do, or if you happen to come across a menu in a different language, you are able to, the Smart Magnifier supports over 140 languages. So almost, I don't know how many languages there are in the world, but that's probably most of them. So you can probably, you can be in, have the system language in Spanish and read something in English. Or you could have the system language in English and find a menu in Spanish and it will translate it for you. You have access to so many things so easily and it's so not, um, it's so accessible and it just makes getting information and getting text so easy. Um, so that's really cool. Just the menu itself is really cool. Um, another one I want to talk, another feature I want to talk about is handwriting. So I wrote a little note to myself a little earlier. Um, but 
here we're going to show how it reads handwriting text. So I got a note, I wrote myself a note, and it's going to read me the note. I'm going to give it a minute. Handwritten note with, thank you for all of your help. Please be in touch. Would you like to know more about the context of this handwritten note or the details of the assistance provided? Yes, please. The note expresses gratitude and invites further communication. It's a polite way to acknowledge help received. So it happens to be that this note didn't come with lots of other information on it, but I could go on and ask all about thank you notes. What's the best way to, act, to write a thank you note? Um, um, what color pen was it in? Um, that's amazing. We have actually a community ambassador that uses this feature uh, to read her mother's handwritten recipes. So not only is she able to now cook because she has an Orcam II or Read 3, she can read independently, but she can also access handwritten recipe cards. Um, something really cool is that what I could do with this handwritten note, you can see, if you can see, this is in print, uh, handwritten text. And I can now change it to digital text. And now it's in digital text. And so I can download it as well. And then I always have it with me in a, in a, in a format that's accessible by many other, uh, by all the devices. And I know, don't only need the smart magnifier, which is amazing. Um, so you have, she can, so probably what this community ambassador does is she takes, you know, her mother's handwritten cards, gets them up here, converts them to the digital text, and then she always has them in a digital text format, which is really, really cool. Um, another thing, which I don't have an image at the moment, but it can also read images. So if I want to have an image and get a description, the AI assistant, I can upload the image, and the AI assistant can read to describe to me the image and tell me more information about the image. So if you have lots of photo fam you know, family albums and you want to look through them by yourself, if you are a bit nostalgic and you want to look back at some pictures, you can upload a picture and just really get a description of the picture. Um, this goes so, so, so much what this, uh, this can do. It can read the full text. It can summarize. It can, um, I can zoom in. I can contrast it to many different contrast levels. You can see here, I don't know how well you can all see, guys but you can all different colors to make it easy for you. If you'd like to access the text on your, your own and you have the level of vision that you're able to do so, you can do that so easily um, and on your own and it's yours and it's, it's, custom, it's, it's customizable, it's personalized. Um, and I think that it's something that can really, it will really change the way you interact with text um, that's what we say about it. It's, it's amazing that it can allow you to access so much more than just the text. It can allow you to access it in a way that you'd like to access it. Um, it accesses images. Um, it can support, it supports multiple languages. Um, that gives you freedom and that gives you independence. That gives you empowerment to be able to take control, to, to, to deal with your things the way you want to, when you want to. Um, and that's a very valid, that's priceless. That's a really special um, thing that we, we, that we, we all want to give to everyone. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about the devices that come with the OrCam Smart Magnifier, or rather the Smart Magnifier comes with these devices. Um, so this is the OrCam Read 3. The OrCam Read 3, you see it comes with yellow buttons, and it's designed to help people um, who need additional text access, um, who have some level of vision. Um, it has smart reading capabilities, that means that if you press um, toward a specific page, you wanna read just the headlines, it'll read just the headlines for you, or if you're specifically similarly to the Smart Magnifier, if you're just looking for the desserts, it'll read just desserts. Um, um, and that's a really cool feature. Um, it also will read the full text, so text to speech. Um, and it's a, it's a really great, and it's handheld, so you can carry it wherever you go, um, and it's very lightweight. Um, it also comes with the stand as well, which we said it comes with the smart magnifier. So you have the ability to read with either holding it or just put the book in and have the mag this have the read three read to you. Um, that's a really awesome feature of the OrCam read three, and it really also allows people to have that independence, um, have the ability to access text and read, um, and it's a really cool device. The OrCam My Eye is specifically designed for people who have um, 
lower levels of vision and need more assistance with daily tasks and orientation related tasks. So here what the OrCam MRI comes with actually is a pair of glasses and magnets that you clip on. Um, so it's also very easy to hold um, and just also lightweight. I have glasses on now, so I'm going to take them off, but you could put them on. Um, it's operated um, via very simple vo vocal commands or hand gestures, just simple finger swipes and taps. Um, and this device can read barcodes. It can read, cur it can, uh, it can identify currency. So if you're in a store and you have dollar bills, it can read different currency to you. Um, it can recognize faces. You can program someone's face, your family member's faces in here, um, and you can identify them. So every time you see them, it'll say, you know, let's say Julia, it'll say Julia. And every single time, and you no longer have that awkward um, who's in the room with me uh, question, you can just identify people. That's a really, really cool feature. Um, it also has the reading, smart reading features and accessing texts. Um, and it really can help you with your daily life and giving you independence um, and ability much more than you had without it. Um, and it's such a valuable device. Um, I wanna just say a few stories, or rather stories, more case scenarios of where you can use these devices and just to give you an idea of how it can uh, improve and enhance your independence and give you a really better quality of life. So at work, I don't know, you know, depending on what you do, but if you work in a, in a place where you have lots of documents or you're in meetings and there's some sort of discussion going on and you wanna know a bit more about the document so, or the discussion, the meeting on the board, so you really know what's going on, you can really get it onto your smart magnifier either with your device, you can take a picture of it, or you can upload the document. Um, you can learn more about the doc, what's on the document. You can manage your work files better if you have document files that you need to work better. You can zoom in and access it on your own. Um, it, it's a game changer. It gives you confidence in the workplace. It allows you to advance in your career in a way that maybe was much harder before because of visual impairments or um, reading challenges and reading fatigue. Um, you also have, we mentioned restaurant. A restaurant, it's huge. Um, imagine like, you know, let me just check the takeout menu, let me pick what I want and order it on my own. Um, or if you're in the restaurant, being able to do that on your by yourself as well. Um, asking specifically what you want. You don't wanna hear the whole menu, you just wanna hear what you want when you want it. Um, and I mentioned before the handwritten recipes, but I think that can go so much further if we discuss handwritten notes, especially in today's age where everything is digitized, but to have something special that you know came from someone specific and you get to access that and you get to hear it and you get to read it on your own. Perhaps it's a, a sweet note from someone you love or um, it's a, an old letter that someone sent, someone sent you from a friend. Um, there's so many different ways that now you can access things you didn't before. And it really gives you such a feeling of independence and it really allows you to a world that maybe seemed almost impossible to access because of visual lo vision loss or reading difficulties. Now you can. And that's something, like I said before, it's priceless. It's an invaluable gift that we are so, I, I'm so privileged and OrCam is so privileged to be part of that, to be able to give this to, to so many people who feel so empowered and feel so independent and feel like they finally get to get back and access texts and take control of their life and uh, connect with people. Um, and I think the smart magnifier along with our devices is really doing that. Um, I don't know if anyone has any questions, but if you do have any questions, please go ahead and ask. I've got some people here on my team who will pass them on. I'm gonna give them a couple minutes for questions. So feel free, anything, I'm here to answer them. Uh, any questions? Did any questions come through, guys? Okay. Any want to let me know what the questions are? If there are any. Is the smart magnifier something different from the read and the minor? The smart magnifier is an added, it's a, it's a premium offering with the read three and my i3. Um, it's, it's a, you need to have either the Read 3 or the My i 3 
um, depending on your needs. Again, depending on your vision impairments or um, what specific needs you have, um, different devices will be more suitable. And of course, we're here to support you and give you any information, please reach out. We wanna give you information about what device is most suitable for you. But you cannot, at the moment, you cannot purchase the Smart Magnifier on its own. You do need to have purchased it within the package of either the My i3 or the Read 3. Um, are there any other questions? No? Okay. Um, okay, if there are, I'm glad that was a good clarification. I see your comment. I'm really happy to hear that was a great clarification, uh, Byron Woodway. Um, again, if you have any other specific questions, please reach out. We're here for you. Um, really, also, I want to mention really important right now, we actually have a special offer on our My i3. It's, it's a discount of $240. So you now can get it for the price of a regular of the My i2. Um, that's a really special offering. It's for a limited time offer. Please, if this is the right device for you, please take, take uh, advantage of it. Um, if you do have any, our both devices, the Read 3 and the OrCam My i3 are linked below this video. So please check them out. Please reach out to us with any other questions. Um, we're really, really happy to help. We want to help you guys. We want to have the right device. We want to empower you. We want to give you independence. And uh, I really hope this was informative and helpful. Again, my name is Ellie, and um, I can't wait to see you next time. Take care, guys.